Uh, hello everyone. Now today I'll be talking about a very uh, small topic and that is the differentiating intussusception from midgut volvulus. Both the conditions are seen in the in children and both are very similar in a clinical uh, presentation. As a result, the confusion can occur. Secondly, even on grayscale ultrasonography, both may look very similar. So you may get confused, but the treatment part is totally different for both of them. So it, it is important for us to differentiate whether this is intussusception or midgut volvulus. So let us just look at these two pictures just to explain to you what is intussusception and what is volvulus. I will not go into the details, but briefly just so that you can understand what I am talking about. Now intussusception means one portion of the intestine goes into the other. It is like there is a bigger pipe and then there is a smaller pipe. The bigger pipe goes into the smaller pipe or sometimes it just folds on itself and goes inside into the lumen. As a result, folds are formed. Now between these two, there is mesentery and vessels also, which are also pushed into this groove here. And as a result, there will occur edema and the vessels will get entrapped and this will lead to problems. In case of volvulus, what is going to happen? There is twisting of the loop. Usually it is a clockwise twisting. And as a result, the intestinal loop twists along with the mesentery. So there is twisting of the loops. Now this can depend, it may be one loop, it may be two tw twists, it may be three twists, it may be multiple twists. So this is again showing you the same thing that there is invagination of the part of intestine into the other. As a result, the mesentery also goes into this groove and gets and the vessels get entrapped. And in this case, there is twisting of the uh, gut, that there is twisting of the intestine along with the mesentery and the vessels will also twist. Now, in both the conditions, what will happen? First, let us just see, this is, picture is just showing you the normal relationship between the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein. The superior mesenteric vein, as we can all see, is towards the right and superior mesenteric artery is towards the left. And this is the normal position of both the vessels. Now, what will happen in both these conditions when we get a transverse section, supposing, transverse section of this on grayscale no, 2D when we are doing we get a transverse section of this area or we get a transverse section of this area both are going to look very similar no, almost very similar we call them as target lesions or donut sign no, we call it target lesion or donut sign no, this looks like a donut this looks like a target right so both may look very similar but there is a slight difference if you notice here the circles will look almost complete and here the circles may look haphazard, irregular. So this resembles more of this picture, you know, the more of this picture which is whirlpool and this resembles more of target lesion, right? So intussusception target lesions are more commonly seen in volvulus, more of whirlpool appearance is seen. But still the grayscale picture in the two can confuse you. Why the picture looks very similar? Because we all know in both the conditions there are multiple layers of the intestine and there are multiple uh, intestinal wall, the lumen, and there are multiple layers of mesentery also here and the vessels. Same thing here. But what is the difference here? See if the vessel is going here and the vessel is going here. So the vessels have not twisted in this case. There is no twisting of the vessels. Only there is twisting, uh, only there is multi-layering multi of the wall and mesentery. While here, what is going to happen? It will twist like this. Mesentery will twist like this. So the vein will wrap around the superior mesenteric artery. So this is going to go like clockwise. And as a result, the vein will go along with the mesentery and wrap around the superior mesenteric artery. Now, as many times it will twist, the more or will be the number of loops in this case. And so not only the intestine has twisted here, but the vessels have also twisted along with it. As a result, there will be multiple circles of the vessels also. Now, let us see on Doppler what has happened in case of intussusception. Since there is no twisting of the vessels, the vessels will look normal, just like the normal superior mesenteric artery, superior, like a normal uh, bowel wall, you see vessels, you will see the same way, no, not much change. But in this case, because twisting has occurred, the same whirlpooling will happen here for the vessels also. So you, so you will see incomplete circles or maybe complete circle. And one more thing you will notice that the central area would be the artery and the vein and the mesentery is going to wrap around it like this. Right. So this is called the whirlpool sign.
so again i repeat to show you the clear picture now this is what is the whirlpool sign you can see concentric rings of vessels and central area is the artery and the surrounding loops are of the vein now this may be complete you are not seeing the color flow here because probably the vein the beam is perpendicular to this area so this is what constitutes the whirlpool sign Again, same thing. This is intussusception and this is the valvulus. Multiple loops are there of vessels. Particularly, you will notice the vein surrounding the artery. Inner area would be the artery, outer would be the venous loops of bowel. And then, second thing that can help you to differentiate is the reversal of the position of superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein. I told you there is a clockwise twisting. As a result, what will happen? The superior mesenteric vein is going to wrap around like this. So the position will change. In a normal situation, the superior mesenteric ar uh, artery is on the left and superior mesenteric vein is on the right side. Here, the things will reverse. SMA will come towards the right and SMV will come towards left. Why? Because they have twisted like this clockwise. Now we'll be able to observe it in most cases. So just keep this in mind that whenever you have to differentiate between the intussusception and the volvulus, what can help you? The whirlpool sign and the reversal of the vessels that is the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein, their positions will be changed from the normal position. So I hope this will help you. Thank you very much.